Hey guys, this is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101, and welcome back to my Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition walkthrough. And yeah, a few hours ago I did part 7, so this time I'm doing part 8. We're gonna turn the speaker on, and we're gonna, and so yeah, we're gonna turn on this computer now. And by the way, for this part we're gonna continue on more of the Windows XP tour. Where we have to like, <clears throat> take a look at it, unlock the world of digital media and the connected home and office so it's time for me to get into the computer well, I, that, 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 the white dots just nothing and see there's a blue dot up there I don't know what that even means Val but at least this monitor is a good one Val it works well anyway Time for me to log in. Alright, it's logging me in now. And I'm gonna, you viewers are gonna hear the startup sound of Windows XP. It'll be there any second. Okay, it's been like a minute and 25 seconds. But I'm not hearing anything. Oh. Okay, I guess that was good. Welcome. Colton, loading your personal settings. So, yeah, this is really exciting. Yeah, yeah I do love Windows XP Home Edition. Wait, what's going on? Hey, sorry about that. Um, I don't know what was going on, but I just heard a door creaking. But anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, it's logging me on now. It's a Dell logo. See, so yeah, um, and yeah, I know what this computer is like from two thousand four. And let's see. Let's see. Um, it's gonna take time. Um, it's gonna take time. But anyway, while I'm waiting for this, here's what we have. So yeah, um, for this uh, the, this keyboard. This is probably like an old one, and this has a old Windows logo on it. Focus camera. Focus. You know what? We're good enough anyway. Who cares? Anyway, uh, yeah, this is a good-looking keyboard. And this mouse right here, that, that's even good, too. And, um... You know what? This is going to take seconds for it to get me in, so... Give me a second. Sorry about that. Um... Um... I had to wait, like, so much time, but, uh, at least I had to wait at the ma at the right time. So, anyway, it's time for me to get back to the Windows XP Tour. Wait, why isn't it loading up? Alright, <clears throat> right, so... It's loading. Give it some time. See, so yeah, it will take some time, viewers. Just give it some time. All right, this is taking time. I don't even know what is going on. So yeah, I'm gonna pause this for a minute. Alright, I'm back. I waited so long, but now I'm ready. So, let's try to look for the Windows XP Tour. Mm, it's probably like right there in the accessories right there. Wait, why is it taking so long? Oh my 
gosh. Okay, I, I need to pause this. Alright, sorry about that, viewers. Uh, the start menu accidentally closed by itself, but I eventually got back into the start menu in time. And now we're going to go into the Windows XP Tour. Click Tour Windows XP. Alright, so let's go in. And yes, we are going to skip the intro because I've already seen it in the last part. So, let's do it. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft. The we'll go right here. We're going to go to the green one. To begin the tour, click any selection. We're going to click on Unlock the World of Digital Media. Unlock the exciting world of digital media at home, at work, and on the internet. Photography, music, videos, computer games, and more. Built-in photo sharing and organization. With Windows XP, viewing photos and sharing them with friends, family, and colleagues couldn't be easier. Just plug in your digital camera and your photos appear instantly, ready for you to edit, email, or print. You can even publish images directly to a website or save them on CD or send them to an online retailer for professional quality prints. Playing music, video, and CDs. Like listening to music and watching videos? Windows XP includes Windows Media Player, so it's a cinch to tune in and there's Like Radio, Humans Do by David download Byrne. Download music or movies from the web and watch streaming and video broadcasts. Of course, you can also play your own CDs. Windows Media Player makes it easy to create your own customizable jukebox. Just copy your personal CDs onto your computer or download music from the internet. Arrange selections in any order you'd want. Store the playlist and the computer will play your selections back, one after another in any order you choose, any time you like. You can even make your own CDs. Optimized for games and DVDs. The latest DirectX technology gives you the enhanced power, performance, and reliability that makes Windows XP great for playing computer games. Networking and internet features let you challenge competitors across the hall or across the globe. Enjoy watching DVDs, too. The next time you and your laptop share an airplane trip, why not take along one or two of your favorites to watch instead of the in-flight movie? Share files, photos, music, even a printer and internet connection, all on a network that's private and secure. Multiple users, a cinch to switch. With Windows XP, it's easier than ever to share a single computer among several users. Each person using the computer can create a separate password-protected account with personalized settings and private files. Multiple accounts can be live on the computer at the same time. Switching back and forth is fast and simple. If someone wants to check email while you're working, they simply switch over to their account. There's no need for you to close your programs and log off. The other user won't see your files while they're working, and when you switch back, you won't see theirs. You'll find the screen exactly as you left it. Networks, powerful and practical. Is there more than one computer in your home or office? Connecting them into a network boosts the abilities of every computer on the system. Make team efforts out of big projects like creating reports and spreadsheets. Free up space on smaller computers. Centralize large files like photos and music on one computer where they can be shared by everyone, even at the same time. Play multiplayer computer games on a whole new level with each player on a separate computer. Save money by sharing hardware. Network computers can share the same printer, scanner, fax, even the same internet connection. Family members can surf the web at the same time from different computers, all on the same phone line or other service. Let the wizard do the work. You don't need to be an expert. A wizard steps you through the entire process of setting up a network for your home or small business. 
Simply answer a few questions about the computers you wish to link, and the wizard does the rest. Once your network is up and running, Windows XP stays on the job, tracking changes and making adjustments automatically, so you'll always get the best performance with the least effort. Data protection inside and out. Windows XP contains powerful new features designed to keep your computer network running no matter what. Sophisticated protection software guards each computer's operating system. It also establishes a protective barrier, or firewall, that shields the entire network from outside hackers and viruses spread over the internet. Okay, that's the end of the tour, so... I mean... Before we shut down this computer, I'm going to do something right here. So, I'm going to play, I'm going to play something, so, I'll just probably, I could do, so, what I haven't do, what I haven't done yet, I'm gonna do WordPad. So yeah, I'm gonna. I haven't done WordPad yet, but I'm gonna do it. So anyway, so let me type in something. Anyway, okay. So let's see. I have caps lock on. Here we go. You know what? I'll have to make this sit here so that way I can do this. Okay. Let's see. Hi. Oh. And this is a preview of a WordPad document. I enjoy making lots of documents on other computers with WordPad. So see that, that that's how I previewed it like take a look at this so I'm not gonna so no I'm not gonna save changes I'm not gonna be saving a document I'm gonna I'm gonna click no so let's see what else I could do anyway let's see um and also before I go I'm going to like I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look at something I'm gonna look at one more thing before I go and that's going to be uh, um, I think I'll be going to something really cool. Also, I, you know, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, like, probably, like, I'm going to preview Microsoft and Carta Encyclopedia Standard Edition 2004 before I go. Let's take a look at it. It's going to take time, viewers, so just stay tuned. Oh, that scared me. That kind of scared me. I did not even understand how that happened. Alright. See, that's Microsoft and Carta. Right. So, yeah, this is, like, kind of pretty old. But I enjoy using lots of things, too. The new Encarta is now in stores. Oh.
I don't know what that was, but it was cool. Um, I know it's not going to work, but I'm going to click on Mind Maze. I'm definitely going to be sure about this. I don't, I don't think it's going to work. Yep, I was right. So, I'm not going to send an error report. Anyway, I'm going to shut down this computer now that I'm done for now. So, let's turn off the computer. So, yeah. This was pretty quick. Anyway, that's about it for part 8 of my walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. So, stay tuned next time for part 9 coming soon. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.